from Sean Arbuthnot and this video is part of a series which introduces eDIL, the Electronic Dictionary of the Irish Language, and explains how users can get the most out of the resource. This video follows on from that on the basic search function and deals with searching the dictionary using English words. The dictionary was originally one directional, from Irish to English. So users required a good level of knowledge of medieval Irish to be able to access it. And they usually came to the dictionary to find the meaning in English of particular Irish words. But because EDIL can be searched in English, you can use it to find the medieval Irish word for something you know only in English. This feature has been important in opening up the dictionary to students and scholars in disciplines like archaeology, history, comparative literature and religion, and also to more general users who are curious about the early language. A great deal about life in early Ireland can be deduced from following up the results of an English language search. Search for the word bread, for example, and you'll be presented with results which distinguish a number of different types of bread, made of wheat and rye and oats, and of different accompaniments for bread, like butter and garlic. You'll also find the names given to different measurements and amounts of bread, and you'll learn that a man's portion is twice the size of a woman's. Even if your specialism is medieval Irish texts, don't underestimate the value of searching in English. Translations and definitions can be very helpful in finding your way back to the Irish word. Imagine you have the form Urdoris and you know that the meaning ought to be lentil or some part of a doorway. You've tried searching Urdoris, Erdoris, Ardoris, but to no avail. But if you search lentil, you get to for Doris, and you can work out that or Doris is a variant of that word. Wild cards, a feature which we met in the video on basic search, can be helpful in English language searches too. Wild card searches involve replacing an element of the search term with an asterisk. When searching for English words, an asterisk at the end of the search term will turn up plurals and cognates and also unusual and archaic spellings. And bear in mind that work in the dictionary was ongoing since the late 19th century, so some of the English in it can seem quite dated nowadays. For years I've been telling people that potato was not an e-dill, and then one day I entered the English term with an asterisk at the end and potato is an edil. Almost inevitably, there will be times when the results of your search include terms which you hadn't foreseen at all. These can be particularly frequent in English language searches. You might have searched for C-O-I-N in the hope of turning up early Irish terms for currency. But your results show also a lot of Irish citations which refer to dogs, and to Cahullan. Or you might have been looking for quirky Irish medieval quotes about cats. And instead you have hundreds of citations from Standish O'Grady's catalogue of Irish manuscripts. One way to avoid the noise of those unwanted results is to use the advanced search functions of the dictionary. If you click on the search tab on the bar across the top of the EDIL site, a list offering advanced search as well as basic search drops down. The first level in advanced search features a search box with the options to confine your results in various ways. These include definition and translation. And in practice, this means confining the search to the English language content. So a search of coin in the definition option of advanced search ensures that results contain only the English language terms you had in mind. I hope very much that this video will be useful as you continue to use the dictionary and explore its potential. There's more information on advanced search in the parts of this series which deal with finding grammatical forms and the languages of EDIL. Before watching those videos though, you might want to take a quick look at the benefits of browse.